This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by One Razor. So with the holidays coming up, I'm sure a lot of you guys are sitting on your couches right now eating cake, eggnog, and really not moving. And I respect that. But once the new year comes around, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna make New Year's resolutions about going to the gym, eating healthier, and all that kind of stuff. So to help with that, today I wanna to take a quick look at a new sport wearable, the Moto360 Sport. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you're like me, you're probably wondering what makes the Moto360 Sport different from a regular Moto360. And right off the bat is the build. You got the silicone band, which feels pretty good, but bear in mind, it's not really as formal or as classy as maybe a leather one is. The whole watch feels lighter, feels good on the wrist, pretty comfortable. It's also IP67 water and dust resistant, not waterproof, but it should do fine with all kinds of sweat. Not sure how many kinds of sweat there are, but your kind should be fine. So as you can imagine, this specific exercise really gets my heart rate going, which is another cool thing about the Moto360 Sport. The heart rate monitor is a constant heart rate monitor, meaning you don't have to stop and stand still while it measures your heart rate. It can do it whenever, and will do it over the span of something like a run or whatever you call this. One of the things I'm kind of torn on with this device is the display. It's a any light display, which is different from the standard Moto360. It doesn't look quite as good, but it gives you great outdoor visibility. In short, it looks like an e-ink display in really bright light. So when you're blazing the trail like Lewis and Clark, you're gonna really like the GPS feature. It gives you more accurate stats on how far you're running, how fast you're running, the pace, all that good stuff. And when combined with the heart rate monitor, which is constant, like I mentioned, in the Moto Body app, overall you're just getting a much more cohesive workout experience versus the Moto 360. And the saddest part is that I'm getting tired from running in place. But that's why we hit the trail. What I like about the Moto Body watch face is that it's interactive and everything is kind of one touch away. If I hit the top right, I get my steps walked. Bottom right, I get a timer. Bottom left, I get calories burned. And top left, I get my heart rate monitor. All very convenient, which is great when you're working out. So those are my thoughts on the Moto 360 Sport. Everything else here for the most part is the same as the Moto 360. You got Android Wear, you got your flat tire, the good and the bad. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. I'm normally not a huge fan of wearables, but I do like this because it is more focused on the fitness side of things. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. So as you can see, I've been connecting more with my inner athlete, and I think it's time for me to get a little bit more aerodynamic. Swimmers shave their legs, I'm gonna shave my face, and for that, I'm gonna go to the guys at One Razor. You can get one safety razor, 24 blades, and a carrying case for all under $20. Check out getonerazor.com for more information. Link in the description below.